Hey guys, some of you have asked me to make an in-depth tutorial about pan transitions as they will be creating a seamless transition between the scenes with panning. First of all, notice that the scenes here are not placed one after another, they overlap. If we make the second scene invisible, underneath is scene A that looks like two buildings. Notice that the buildings sit on the ground, that is just a line. This line is here on purpose. While illustrating the style frames, I thought that this line can get prolonged to smoothly and seamlessly start the next scene. So I also have a line in my next style frame, which, by the way, gets revealed with the trim path effect. This is how the second scene looks when it's animated on its own, right, without transition. I'll move scene B to the right. I'll even change the background color of it so that the idea is a bit more evident and also we can easily distinguish the scenes from each other. Both lines have the same Y value, or we can say they are at the same height from the ground. Now we must reposition the second scene so that the lines connect. Let's change the background color back to light blue. And now we parent our first scene to the second. From now on, we only work with the second scene. The first is parented and it will go along. Let's keyframe the position. Move this keyframe to the left where you think the transition should start, maybe 15, 20 frames back. And now we move the scene, or in other words, pre-comp, to the center of the frame. While dragging the scene to the left, you'll see that the first scene also moves to the left and the lines stay connected. That's what we want, great! And finally, let's add some easing, go to the graph editor and move the handles slightly inwards. Voila! Give this video a like if it was useful, check out my Patreon shop, there is a project file of an entire 50-second explainer video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!